Welcome to Project 2003, a new pack, and I thought I'd go show you a little bit of it before we decide which one I should proceed with, because uh, I've also got the Enigmatica 2 pack on the uh, the channel, so here is Project 2003. It's a skyblock, as you might imagine, it isn't an expert mode, although there will be expert mode coming. Um, at least one called Titan mode, and hopefully there'll be one called Kappa mode coming as well. They're not ready yet, but the actual main pack is. So to get started with this, uh, I would first of all like to thank a uh, YouTuber by the name of Will X, uh, who, who reminded me that Logitech keyboards have a way to uh, really help in Skyblocks, and I agree entirely. If you want to get started and get some stone to expand this platform a little bit, you can shift and right click, i.e. sneak right click. However, Logitech keyboards come with the macro features, which means you can, um, well... Yeah. I want more, more pebbles. Okay, and there's also a feature in this particular mod pack that just lets you hover, well, and press Shift K, and it compresses them all into regular cobblestone. Makes it easier to get started with something like a skyblock, instead of having to hammer through, um, basically cobblestone with like a lava water thing, uh, when you get started. So first of all, I'd want to extend the platform at least one in those directions, and then maybe a second one as well. And then we can get started with other stuff, like the quest system, which is quite expansive in Project Ozone 3. Huge numbers of quest categories, lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. And you start out in Alpha, as you might imagine, with random acts of kindness. So you get some free to get started. When it detects that... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and in that quest reward, obviously you get things like a sapling, which we, of course we're going to use, uh, like basically this. Yeah, I'm gonna got another key set up to actually do shift, uh, shift pressing shift multiple times. So I'm not actually pressing anything right now. And um, in the quest rewards, we also got run max of kindness. Now here they are. Uh, where are they? There they are. The credits. You can turn those in to get regular loot chests. So in the quest system, leave there, go to rewards, and then, then you can choose to spend them on various things. Uh, we don't have we don't have 64 that much is for certain and flight totem 768 of them yeah that's gonna be a while however just as an example we can use those five we just got detect and we get a loot chest maybe there'll be something useful in it maybe they won't claim and what do we get one prosperity shard or well, one stack of prosperity shards i should say Okay, not useless, but uh, not not just yet, I don't think. So all I need to do now is gather a lot of wood, and we can do that with the usual ore excavation mod, basically vein miner. And the platform, I probably want to actually extend a little bit first, because we want to catch a lot of the leaves and anything else that drops. Okay, I've extended it one more, and that'll do for now. So let's just gather all of this wood, and let's see if anything else comes with it. Hopefully we're going to get saplings and apples, basically. Now we need eight apples from the quest, um, but we're also going to be using up apples because uh, whenever I use all of that, uh, or excavation or vein miner, it's going to use up apples like crazy. Um, well, apples, uh, hunger like crazy, which I'll replenish with apples. But we don't want to do that with just bare apples. We want to cook them first. We can also juice them if you want to, but it, I think, if I remember rightly, uh, cooked apples are much, much better than juiced apples. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on which way you like them. So crafting station will do fine, and I think I'll put these in the floor so I don't have to worry about step up getting in the way when I'm actually putting these down. So let's put one there and one on the other side. There we go. And we'll just get a couple of furnaces together, I think. Um, we could do like eight furnaces, but uh, let's just get four. And I'll put those at the corners. Well. I'll actually put two next to each other on this corner and two next to each other on this corner. There we go. And the rest I want to fill in with storage. And you could use chests. I probably want to use crates instead. So I'm just going to need to regrow some of this. I'm not sure what that actually is. I assume it's going to be useful, so I don't want to break it. So I'm just going to put them over here. And I'll sign another key on the Logitech keyboard. Uh, yeah, so I can just hold down this. And it shall start pressing shift for me. There we go. And we just want to gather that wood we're using for excavation. And we should get plenty of apples, hopefully. 
How many apples do I have? Seven. We actually need one more than that, so I'm just going to go again. At least for the quest. Uh, that should actually do, if I just or excavate that. Uh, are we going to get some apples? No, sometimes it doesn't actually work. So that's fine. Uh, the other thing we can actually make is crooks. That will get us apples as well. So if we just convert these over into sticks, sticks into crooks. Then if we grow these, I'm uh, using shift again. And then if we or excavate the leaves using crooks, uh, they will start getting us other things like silkworms. But apples. There we go. And there's our quest. So in alpha now we should have a couple things. Yep. We should have five random acts of kindness there. We should have five here on juicer and glass bottles, etc. Again, I did test it out. It's probably not worth going for juicing apples. Instead, just go to... Uh, in fact, I'm going to convert some things over. First of all, let's just convert that to wood. Sorry, planks. Get started with a couple burning. And then once I've got some charcoal, I'll then put the rest of the apples in. And they'll serve as a good fuel source. It's something like six. Well, it certainly will fill the hunger bar and lots of saturation as well. So they're well worth going for. For example, I can take those out now. I'm going to take some back and then we'll just use one of them. Uh, let me just finish off this tree. There we go. I've put another set of trees up and we're just going to seed those with the silk worms we've been getting with the crooks. So this whole tree structure should change into white, essentially, which will start getting us silk or rather string. That's the equivalent. And then we'll just use the, well, we make some crates over here. So crates. Um, preferable to regular chests because they just hold more storage to get started with. Um, they're just not a full block, so I don't quite like them as much for that side of things. But otherwise, yeah, we can cope. Uh, so let's get casings. Uh, pro well, let's make four casings. And then we're going to need to want... Uh, that means we want 16. Uh, I think it's like 16 chests in order for that to work out. Yeah, and then move them in. Four of those, which then gets me the space to put them down here. There we go. And we can put all this stuff away. I just grab the stuff back that we actually need. We want the cooked apples. I uh, want some of the crooks, possibly. And cobblestone, nothing else, pretty much, I don't think. Uh, no, not for now, anyway. And behind, as you see, the tree's already converted across which means I can uh, or excavate what should be string. Should be lots of string. There we go. All stacks of string. Of course, we can bring that up into a wall. And you'll see now my hunger bar is short, so it goes from two short of full hunger to two plus six saturation with one cooked apple. So a very good fuel, uh, food source at the early stage of the game. Let's get rid of you. I would have thought they'd have decayed. Okay, well, I guess we can do it the old fashioned way. There we go. Lots of string. All right, what's next? Let's click our quest. That's, uh, that one's done. Silk should now be done, so we can claim some more random acts of kindness, credits. Uh, then we've got to get into patterns, into water to clay, for that kind of thing. Uh, sieves, uh, mob farming, we're not there yet. Iron, we don't have iron yet, so we've got to get into sieves. Uh, yeah, and this is where you watch out for the blood moon in the pack, because if you haven't lit up your platform adequately, uh, things can go bad. Uh, so if we take some charcoal and some sticks, and we can make sure, just in case a blood moon happens, that we've lit up our pad. There we go. I'm not gonna make it too big otherwise. That'll do for now. And let's just put some saplings back down while I carry on with the rest. Okay. Uh, that's 15 random acts of kindness. I could change trade them in. I'm not sure whether we want to actually go for some of the higher reward tiers though, because if you have a look in rewards, there's not just the you know, there's a 10 rack reward, there is a um at least 20. Yeah, 20, 40, 80, and six. So, well, what? 
Why is that 18 and why is that 60? Don't know. And um, they seem to be um they seem to be randomized anyway. So for example, this one, I tried a few test worlds, and you get different stuff every time. So maybe these have better chances? Not sure. Uh, in any case, uh, we're not going to uh, need to use any of those just yet. So let's get on with the quests and get far out into here. I'm going to skip over showing you the Tinker stuff. Showed it too much recently. I'm just going to craft all the stations. And they're all done. Only thing extra that I normally don't do is there's a part chest here. And this doesn't have the integration that has all the extra user interface, unfortunately. But uh, they're all next to each other, all ready to go. And we also need to make a crucible. Uh, and this is just a wooden one. And that's just wood, a slab and some sticks. So that should be quick. Uh, let's grab you for a second and uh, get some slabs. And let's get uh, three of those, I think. Okay, and if we put leaves or indeed um, saplings into these, we should be able to get water back out of them. But I'm not sure how we're going to transfer those into barrels or whether we can just use these to make clay in. Because the, the other type is barrels. I need to put basically dust into those. That's not that one, it's a wooden barrel. That's the way of making it. And for now, uh, I'll make a few of those as well, just in case. If it does rain, then cool, that may collect some water. Uh, let's get those made up just by converting them to some wood. And that should be it. So that side, that side, and three wooden barrels. And again, I'll put them in the floor for now, and we'll have to move them or reconsider later. So but all of those are done, and clay is the only thing. So we need to right-click dust into waterfill barrels to obtain clay. Dust, I assume, is the usual for this. X Nye, hello. Uh, compressed dust. Con well, converts back into dust. Hammer sand into dust, etc. And down we go. Okay, so using tinkers, if we go and put these patterns in, uh, we should be able to make a camera, I think. And if we use a camera, um, it will let us uh, basically get the uh, the leaves without using shears. Uh, whereas my materials, I made some compressed cobblestone and a hammer, and hammered stuff down into compressed dust. In fact, we can just decompress that now, I guess. Uh, at least half of it, maybe even one of it. I want some when we actually fill up. Yeah, when we actually fill up these with water, I'll need to get clay out of them somehow. So we'll get that done. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's put some cobblestone down and a stone camera head. Um, I could probably put wooden bindings, I guess. Um, yeah, let's put these wood for that. Just for the ecological more than anything else, we want to be able to repair it. Or it's automatically a repair, I should say. There we go. And then use this to make a hammer. Okay, and let's see if that actually works, if I remembered rightly. Yep, so we get a full stack of oak leaves. Of course, you don't want to do that when you're like running out of saplings, because you need to get some saplings back, but I've got 32 saplings, so that's fine. And if we just right click them in here, they should auto-convert. Will you, will you auto-convert? Yeah, but they make dirt if you do that, so mm, not necessarily what we actually want, although it is sometimes suitable as well. All right, so those are going. And uh, then we can, of course, carry on uh, harvesting. Uh, do I have anything specific I need to get here? Just clay for the next one reward there. Because we're going to need porcelain, I assume, for the porcelain melter. P-L-R-C-E-L. Uh, the melter is right there. And that's going to need porcelain bricks and porcelain tanks. That's also going to need bricks and sand. Porcelain clays, bone meal and clay. Where are we going to get the bone meal from? That is a good point. Where am I going to get bone meal? Just a mob farm? I mean, of course, we can make a mob farm, but uh, I've been hoping for something a little bit nicer. Ah, fine. Are you full? Uh, no. Uh, well, maybe. Can I actually get some dust out now? Are you full enough for dust? Nope. Okay, so we'll keep adding those. 
I may have to move them over into here to actually get that to work. Which will need some kind of container, I would imagine. So let me just carry on for a few more minutes. Okay, um, I was a bit, a bit frustrated. I was like, well, how do I craft a bucket? I don't have any iron ingots. And I don't want any clay to make a clay bucket. So we have bottles, I guess. These bottles were given to you as part of one of the other quests. So I guess we can transfer stuff with bottles. Not terribly efficient, mind you, but it is one way of doing it. And that does let us get uh, basically clay right there. And uh, then we have clay available. So can we make a clay bucket with just that? An unfired version, and then we can get that fired. And that should be able to mean I don't have to use little tiny glass bottles. Uh, amusing, but at the same time, not. <laughs> okay, so let's just grab more leaves. And I think my camera's just unrepair it. Well, it needs to be repaired uh, with stone. Uh, do I have any stone? Oh, did I use it all? I think I may have used... Oh, no, I've got some compressed. I've got some in my inventory, actually. That's not much of a problem. Uh, where is it? There we go. Let's put it there, and then we can just repair this anytime we want. Pretty cool. And I don't have to worry about anything else there. So more oak, oak leaves, and we should have... Just be able to refill these now. Yeah, and they will continue converting across. We can grab the fired clay bucket. And presumably... Oh, that's the blood moon. I was talking about. So we're going to make sure I just make some more torches, maybe. Uh, with some more logs. And then we'll make sure that this whole thing's lit up. Um, I crafted some more of these. I'm actually just going to take these back. I'll take that one back there. And we'll put it down here. So then I can get more clay. And use that to get even more buckets if we wanted to. There we go. We'll of course automate that pretty soon. Uh, let's take that reward actually. It's just far more animax kindness. Lava generation. I do actually like that part of a skyblock when you use to use uh, basically the other kind of crucible. Unfired crucible. Where that needs porcelain clay, which needs bone meal. We're gonna have to figure out how to get bone meal. Bone meal is available via sieving, so let's just have a look at uh, that bone meal. I want to see whether it's available via um, compressed dust or just by regular. So what are the recipes? Either sieving regular dust. Uh, we can get even more stuff if we want to go via flint mesh, but yeah, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. And the same thing here. But no heavy, no, well, no, no compressed dust. That's fine. So we'll just go by regular dust and just convert the compressed dust back. That's over a stack. And now I can hold down that uh, right click key again. And that should be able to just go through and start to make, well, bone meal and other stuff. Now I've got 10 of it, or at least um, seven of it. Then we should be able to convert that over, convert some clay over, combine the two and get seven. There we go. Seven porcelain, and then uh, we want to craft that into a crucible. Crucible needs to be fired, so let's put that into here. And we can get that, that charcoal going. And then I can ex probably expand the platform, because I'm not just going to want two saves, I'm going to want quite a lot. And uh, we're going to need some more space for that, so again, it's a plum moon right now. If that happens in your world, be careful. Be very, very careful. Um, I'm not sure, I can't really see what's over there really, if anything spawned, I doubt. But um, yeah, once we get over there, they will. Fine, so I, I'm pretty much done for the Crucible. I think that should be done. Yep, there it is. And just as you normally expect with a Crucible, you need some kind of lava, uh, well, generation source, which means a heat source. Uh, I guess we could try a, um, will it actually work if I put it there? I'm not sure if it would. Yeah, mine do. Yeah, rate of one. Okay, so if that's going to work, then I should just be able to put stone in there. And it should start moving down. It is. So liquid lava is is building up. Good. 
And uh, uh, yeah, well, I do have the ability to move one piece of lava, but that's about it. Um, I need iron to actually get any further. Iron, of course, is going to be a sieve as well. So iron ore, maybe? Um, iron ore, can we just sieve it directly? No, it's probably going to have to go through chunks and everything else. So let me see if I can find the recipe for that. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a, a trek around. Maybe dust. Oh, the, uh, too many dusts. Chunks, maybe? Chunk. That should be the easier one. I know chunk. There we go. And we build it up from iron ore piece. Iron ore piece is coming from flint stiffened mesh. Uh, is there anything else? Iron stiffened mesh? Yes. Diamond. No, it needs to be at least flint stiffened mesh. And dust. Flint stiffened mesh is just a string mesh plus flint. Flint is just some gravel, so that's not a problem. Because uh, I think, do I still have some of that compressed stuff? Um, I may do somewhere. Yeah, compressed. And where's my hammer? There we go. So if we just take something like, I want to say 14, normally the amount I go for, just because of the size of the platform. And or excavate hammer this, we should get gravel. Convert back, convert the gravel into flint, and away you go. A short time later on the extension of the platform with some flint meshes and we get some iron ore pieces along with some other stuff as well. But iron ore pieces are the main thing right away because then we can manipulate lava and get everything going. So I can just basically add them into there. That will cook them up. And we should end up with iron. Uh, kind of handily, really, because we're going to need to uh, get it out of this, this crucible again. Uh, we've almost got one bucket worth of, um, of lava in there. Good. All right, so we're getting on fairly well onto this kind of area. I'll probably extend this. I normally, well, in the last sort of stone block pack, I made into essentially three by three array. That seems like a reasonable approach to take, but we're also going to want to be able to automatically generate dust and other stuff as well and feed that in again automatically. We're just starting up manually on this episode. Okay, I'm taking a look at these meshes. It looks like we're always going to want to upgrade um, because we're always going to get extra stuff and they all have uh, drop chances. So iron ore is always a drop chance of 100%. So if we go up to iron, we'll then get redstone, glowstone, etc, etc on top. So we may as well actually upgrade once we've got, you know, the Birmingham's like uh, buckets. So that will do for there. Um, do I actually want to upgrade now? No, I want the bucket first. Just to make sure I have one. Uh, oh, wait. Wait a second. What's the bucket recipe then? Oh, it's iron plates. What happened to this being not on expert mod pack? Uh, it's a compactor. No, we're not going to have that. We can cast it out using a smeltery. It's going to force us into a smeltery. I'm almost certain, unless there's a hammer, we can actually get iron plates with. Uh, pressurizer, hydraulic press, crushing table. Mm, no. <laughs> Okay, we're going to need to get to the smeltery, so I may as well use these to upgrade the meshes for now. So uh, flint, let's actually upgrade another one through flint first. So these string meshes we already have. So we can make flint meshes. And from flint, we can go into iron. There we go. And we can just swap these out. And replace them with iron as and when we get them. And they're also quest rewards. So if we just go through these, Yep, we've got some. It's going to give us some string meshes. I already made mine. Ah, but we'll just take the random acts of kindness. That's uh, that's straightforward enough. And then the diamond mesh is the top one. And of course, you get diamonds, I assume, with the iron mesh. Diamond. Where's the sieve? Iron mesh, you're putting gravel through. Fair enough. And that will also get us iron ore pieces as well. Okay, so now I've got enough bone meal and clay to actually make more porcelain, so that can go make a whole stack. And we'll put that into a furnace, and it doesn't disappear, thankfully. There is some issue in this mod pack, I think, where sometimes when you do this, it just disappears out of a furnace. I'm not sure why. Uh, and there we go, first porcelain brick. So that's going to take a little while to do. We've got a full stack of, well, almost a full stack of iron being cooked up. That can get converted into uh, meshes, of course, and we've got some glass as well. 
Uh, and here's all the rest of the stuff I got from sieving. So there's plenty of stuff there. And our sieves are now up to, I think there's four in there. Oh, six actually in there. And they're processing things quite fast because six happen at once and another blood moon. It's nearly constantly a blood moon this pack. Uh, anyway, so we've got that going. And the next thing step we need to take in the quest book. Uh, bonsai pots. I'm very much in favor of bonsai pots. The fact that they're going to be in this pack, I'm, I'm really happy about it. In fact, I almost want those straight away. Bonsai pots. Uh, especially the hopping bonsai pots, but uh, that's brick, which is just clay. Fine. What about hopping bonsai pots? We can already make that. That's good. And I want those immediately uh, because I want wood renewably, and they are the best way to do that. So let's get that done. One hopper. And then we've got enough clay to actually uh, hopefully not again disappear. And let's just get this cooked into regular brick. See, see what happens? See, it just disappears. I've no idea why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If I am, uh, do let me know in the comments below. <laughs> and I uh, want to know why that happens. Hmm, not happy. Anyway, I guess we're having to make more clay, which is not hard, but uh, slightly annoying. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to upgrade to non-vanilla versions of furnaces, just in case it's those uh, that's causing the issue. But we'll wait for a second for that to complete, and then we should be able to make a storage drawer. Do I have any wood left? I may be running low on wood. Well, I guess we can go back to here and get more. Uh, back in a second. That should be more than enough. So if we just convert some of this, well, in fact, we can probably convert all, most of it over into planks. Let's get those into chests and then we can just put those in the corners if I remember my recipe correctly and we can make basically basic drawers two by two that will do for now and then we can uh, get the clay which hopefully has cooked up it has yep we got a basic drawer I didn't even know that was a quest it's fine because we're going for this the bonsai pot the hopping bonsai pot and then if we just grab an oak sapling, can we actually make apple oak saplings in this pack? No, let's try looking for the apple oak. Apple, uh, is there any kind of apple sapling? Ah, there we go, it's three, three apples. I need another apple. Um, there's one. Okay, and one sapling. And hopefully this is compatible. And then we can put down our drawers. So uh, this uh, we can put wherever we like. For now, I'm just going to put it here, I think. It's facing the wrong direction. Because uh, we want to put a floor in first, don't we? Let's just put some wood down. And I'll move this later. So one, two. And then we can put one down facing this way. There we go. Uh, hopping pot goes on top. And then... We're going to need some dirt, and I think we get given some at the very start of the game. Yeah, say be digging something up or making something in the compost. Let's put that in there, and then apple sapling. Yep, it's growing. There it goes. And hopefully a two by two is enough to contain all the components, but uh, anything that gets rejected should just uh, disappear. So let's get you rid of you for a second. I don't need this at all, so it can get destroyed as far as I'm concerned. There we go, grow a bonsai tree. Okay, so we want apples, we want leaves, and saplings, maybe. We'll see what actually comes up out of this, but uh, we can just leave it going. Um, there are, uh, is there the mechanical user? The mechanical user is in this pack. That's good. Is the wand of acceleration in this pack? No. Boo. Uh, the time in a bottle? In a bottle? No. Okay, tick accelerators have just gone missing. <laughs> There we go. So we get apple saplings. Can we actually use those to uh, come into water? No, looks like we can't. So I may want to set up a separate uh, drawer and a separate hopping pot, maybe for regular saplings, just in case. And we get leaves, however, that will. Yep, good. So we've got stuff going. I do like hopping bonsai pots. Favorite uh, thing of more recent mods that I've played.
And we should be able to finish up by building the simpler version of the smeltery, the, uh, whoops, not that, uh, we need to build this. So porcelain melter, porcelain tank, faucet casting basin and table, uh, again, probably can't, I assume we can't alloy with this stuff. So it's just to get us towards uh, getting the full size smeltery. Fair enough, and um, pour some melter. So let's take a look at that recipe first of all. Mel, mel, not el, el, melter, melter. There we go. Uh, that is the tank. Uh, so we need a tank anyway, I guess. Uh, where's my crafting station? There we go. And is it all the way around? Yep, one tank. And the melter needs all of those. So that's the melter done. Uh, we may need... Um, the interesting thing is the tank. Yeah, so the tank goes underneath it. So we need another tank, essentially. It's, uh, again, quite quick. And then we want a faucet. We probably want two of those. And we're going to need more porcelain, but uh, some is cooking up. And then we have a basin. And we're going to need another, I want to say, one, seven. So another eight should get us the quest. Well, we can actually do the quest before that, but I'm going to want another eight anyway. So let's make another faucet. Yep, yeah, and we'll set this up while the rest is cooking. Do we have enough cooking? We do. Good. Um, as to where we put it, I'm not too concerned at the moment. Let's put it near here. Uh, we may have to rebuild it. So let me just put some stone down underneath it of some kind. Just in case. Ah, got to get it out here. There we go. So the tank will go on the bottom. And the melt will go on top. And then, well, we can just put it either side, I guess. Our table will go this side. So if we get one going that way, one going that way, and we should be okay. We just need some way of moving the, the some way of moving the lava, and that's straightforward to do. I just will lose my bucket when I do it. So as long as I have enough st other stuff to move, uh, I want to make sure I have enough clay. Where's my bucket gone? There it is. And do I have enough leaves? I'll make sure I've got enough water going on. Uh, how are we doing here? Uh, oak leaves too. It does take a while for this kind of stuff to build up, but um, I don't need the apple oak saplings anymore, so I've just removed those. And we should get pretty much the same from both of these, apart from the fact that this one is getting leaves, that one is getting saplings, and they'll build up over time. Mainly the goods can give us free food, and of course I can get stuff from here whenever I need to make more. There we go. And we can just make sure all this is filled up. I'm producing water and I want to make sure I have at least some moved over. There we go. Before I do this and use up my clay bucket. All right, so finish off our apple. That clay should have finished cooking now. Well, the porcelain, I should say. And that means I should be able to get a table out of this. And hopefully that will have detected everything. Wrong key. There we go. And it'll take us towards, uh, let's see, lava processing. That's just a checkbox task. Okay, does that just give us lots of stuff? Or is it just going to enable something else? Didn't give me anything. And that brings us to the end of the episode. We're going to be heading next episode into Cobble Generation, because we have the Cobble Gen in here, just like in Stone Blocks, so that'll be a much, uh, much better way of getting Cobble done. Uh, very much in favour of that kind of approach for things. Uh, there is the nether sort of heading that way and the end and the end of dragon. Uh, we don't need to worry about this. So it's not, this, this pack isn't really so much, or this part of the pack isn't many that means it isn't intended that you go through all of this 
then into beta, then into gamma, you'll start branching off into other areas. You'll see I've already unlocked basic draws here in beta, for instance, just by crafting some of those uh, those draws for the um, uh, the hopping bonsai pots. Uh, last thing I just want to make is an iron furnace, though. Uh, is that just an upgrade to the regular furnace? Because if so, I probably want to replace the regular furnaces with that. They should be faster and uh, among other things. And hopefully they don't uh, swallow lots of ingredients. So do I have enough iron? I do have enough iron. And maybe we make a few of them. Okay. Iron furnaces. Are you going to detect? Yep. Complete. Claim, and we can get into the other furnaces. I do already have enough to get it to gold, not to diamond, however. Gold furnace should just need some gold smelting. Gold furnace. Yep, just regular gold. And that will probably get all the way up to, well, I'm not sure they were called Zenith Furnace last time I checked, but uh, Endis Furnace, Zenith Furnace. Yeah, they tend to get pretty faster the further up you go. So in my case, I'm just going to go straight away here and upgrade maybe two of them. We'll just convert these to gold ore chunks and put those in, take this out, and we should be able to get 16. That's enough for two furnaces. Uh, maybe we can get a third one. Do I have enough for third? No, I don't think I do. Nah, we'll actually just smelt it up anyway. And then uh, I will be able to get to gold furnaces and uh, go from there. But uh, for that point in the episode guys i think that's pretty much it my throat's killing me i'm afraid so i'm gonna to take a little bit of a break now go and get a lime sip or something quite nice to drink and uh, next episode we will come back for hopefully a lot more uh, progress i quite like the progress so far one episode full sets of sieves smeltery uh lots of infinite wood essentially now we don't have to do any more stuff like here for wood just for other ingredients if these aren't fast enough we've got all the tinker stuff set up we've got all uh, plenty of storage set up well, I'll see you next episode, hopefully, for some more Project Ozone 3. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the episode. And, of course, subscribe, share, click the bell, as you normally would. More importantly, of all of that, comment below. Give each other suggestions and make everyone's games improved. As always, guys, thanks for watching.